I know the previous uh, engine that you had, you used in multiple games from like the Birth of America to uh, Rise of Prussia to, you know, the 30 Years uh, thirty years War, I believe, that you guys had. Mm-hmm. So is this new engine that you have in Field of Glory, is that is this a brand new engine from the ground up or did you refine the older engine? Uh, yeah, it's, it's completely new because uh, it, it has been developed uh, by uh, Slytherin, uh, uh, and so at first it did not share anything with with our old engine, and so I had to code and uh, recreate from zero all the basic gameplay and then the gameplay rules uh, for Empire. So yes, it's a complete restart for us. It shares. Oh wow! Yeah, no, just saying that uh, you also learn from experience uh, when you are on the same job and. Uh, I know I, I I do better fast and faster now in uh, 2019 compared to my start. And uh, for example, take the AI. Uh, the AI in the old uh, Agiod engine uh, was decent, but was slow. Like uh, you you need two or three minutes uh, to to have it uh, play its turn. Now you 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 get the same result in uh, probably yes the same result in a uh, skill. In the in empires, but uh, the AI uh, runs in uh, ten seconds, uh, just because you learn from uh, what you do in uh, in your job, and uh, yeah, it's good to restart from fresh sometimes. Yeah, I've experienced that in my own job. Oh, clearly. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> Anytime you do programming, you know, just you learn so much along the way, and mm-hmm. that, you know, it's way too much time to start over from scratch. But when you are forced to, you have this opportunity really mm. to do everything the way you think it should have been done <laughs> to begin with. Yeah, yeah. Um.